Hello and welcome to a new video about Prometics. Prometic controls. Uh, last time we did already some Prometic control where we wanted to push a button and only in case another pressure was there we wanted to move. Uh, this time we want to move anyway. However, we have two buttons. Let's imagine we have one button at one location and one button at another location and from both locations I want to press this button and start the cylinder moving. So we are we are again using a double acting cylinder. So let's start. Let's draw the double acting cylinder. This double acting cylinder of course we are using a 5 to way valve. This is the usual way in double acting cylinders. We have them spring loaded and on one side dramatically operated. Okay. So here draw it that way. Here, throw it that way. This is connected to the front. This is connected to the rear. So what we've got here, in this case, we are going to insert. So I will simply write here, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. And if we have pressure here, we're connecting one with two. So this is the one, two connector. So right now, one is connected to four. So this will stay inside. Yeah. If I apply here pressure, this will switch and we will go travel outside. Yeah. So the only thing I have to manage, the only thing I have to manage here is to put here pressure. Here's the pressure line. Uh, to add two buttons. Uh, so there's one button. This is the second button. They are also spring loaded. button, yeah. they have locked rest position, both, if I operate the button, we are in flow position. Yeah. So this is the one line connected to the pressure line, one, here we have three, and here we have the two connector. Yeah. So if I want to put in pressure, regardless of which button is pressed, there's a special element for this. Special element. So-called shuttle valve. That symbol. One, one, and here we have the two connector. So, if the pressure is now applied from here, shuttle valve will change, apply pressure will move. If the pressure is applied from here, shuttle valve will change in the other direction, apply pressure, move. Yeah? So the shuttle, we said, it's an OR. It's an OR combination, right? So we only have to name the things now. Yeah? This is still our MM1. This is our QM1. Yeah? This is now, this is now our switch one. Yeah? And now we have our switch two. Yeah? And here, this is of course information management, K, yeah? information processing, KH. Fluid technique one. So that's it. This is how this would look like.
Now, regardless of what button I press, we can move. Yeah? Last time we used here, the only difference, last time we used here two pressure valve. Yeah? And this was a roller lever, okay. Yeah? However, I said, if I put those behind each other, yeah, then, I mean, it's working also, then it's also an end combination. Yeah? So if end combinations are serial switches, what if we just apply it parallel? So what if we would just do it like that? Those two, I only draw the control part. Those two valves again, yeah? spring loaded we said. Button operated, locked rest position. So those are all the same. One, three, two, two, one, three. So this is exactly this part. Eh? What if I'm just making it that way? Eh? Puck. Is this working? Eh? Because if the pressure is coming from here, we have a pressure. If the pressure is coming here, we have a pressure, right? Is this really exactly the same as this? Of course not. Yeah? Some of you might already have seen it. If I apply here pressure, then it will immediately go out here. So the only thing I'm doing it, if I'm doing that way, yeah, I produce quite a lot of noise. The other way around also, then the noise would come from this valve. Yeah? So you see, this is not, this is not how it should look like. Huh? So this is simply no alternative. Huh? It's clear, hopefully. Huh? So shuttle valve or variant. Huh? or combination, logical, or next time we want to store. Yeah? Next time we also want to have the two buttons. Yeah? One button should trigger to that the cylinder is traveling out. The other button should trigger that the cylinder is traveling in. If I press no button, the cylinder shall stay where it is. Yeah? This then will be next video. Next video we are storing the information we got. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.